What's up, cool cats and kittens? We are once again at Nissan Stadium for some Titans football. It is Thursday Night Lights. We've got a huge division matchup between the Titans and the Colts. Starts a huge stretch for the Titans. Should be a fun night of football. I got way too much money on this game. I made a huge mistake. I'm going to live to regret it, but it'll be fun along the way. Light up, light him up. challenge with the eagle tonight it's a weird to have a night primetime game and no challenge with the eagle he's my favorite call it tails and it is tails right indianapolis has won the toss as i'm going to find i assume you'll receive before you get tennessee will we'll receive good luck gentlemen Early. There we go. There we go. It ain't bad. Let's go. Good start, baby. Seven O Titans. Can't ask for a better start than that. Well, Derek Henry could have got the first touchdown to cash that bet. That would have been a better start, but we'll take what we can get. 7-0 Titans. Let's go, baby. Can you see his rec specs from here? Can you see the rec specs on old uh, Rodrigo? Rodrigo Blinkenship with the rec specs. I mean, a little safe looking for a fake, it looks like. He did not. All right, so it's 10 to 10, about midway through the second quarter. Most exciting thing that happened so far is that there was a first quarter prop where if Derrick Henry had six yards rushing in the first quarter, paid out plus 100, barely got it over with his very last carry of the first quarter. It was crazy. Good success so far. All right, today's stadium food review is kind of a mixed review. It's Nashville hot chicken. Review plus stadium food review. We got pepper fire, hot chicken. Uh oh. There goes the cheerleaders going up to the club section to do something, leaving us lowly lower floor peasants behind. All right, here we go. Hot tender review. Oh. That's good. It's like just the right amount of spice I like. Nice. I'm glad they have hot chicken at the games. Also glad I decided to eat this really close to the napkin stand. Henry first time touchdown but if he scores at any point I get my money back we're going down to the goal line let's go let's get it of course last time we were down here Derrick Henry had a chance to score Arthur Smith drew up some trickeration so could be another Derrick Henry decoy coming up people are chanting for it 
I think they're giving away Arthur Smith's strategy. It's Clap Chant and Derrick Henry. Yeah, oh, that didn't look good. That looked painful. Derrick Henry, top of your screen. John o. Smith in the backfield. Oh. Another flag. Let's do it. We'll take it. Aha, about time we got one. They've only hit him about 20 times. 62 is eligible. Let's go, baby. Oh, easy. He's going to walk in. Yes. Play designed by Arthur Smith. May cost me some money though. I'm happy for it though. Let's go. Tighten up. In a minute, wearing a 100 pound pack. There are children and small adults in this stadium that don't weigh that much. That is awesome. The record is 16. Uh, but first of all, before we get into this, talk about your mission and talk about being an Iron Will ambassador. My mission is just to spread the word that we can all be unstoppable. We all wrestle with challenges in life, but I believe we've been blessed to live in the greatest country in the world. We have so many opportunities, and tonight I'm here as an Iron Will ambassador because the veterans have made it possible for me to live the American dream. So I'm here supporting them in Creative Vet. And this also benefits Creative Vets. Talk about working with them. This also benefits Creative Vets. Talk about working with them. Yeah, Creative Vets is just an awesome group. They do so much to support the military and their veterans through different, just different uh, opportunities such as uh, songwriting, art, just to help them with traumatic issues that they're dealing with from being in the military. So they're a great group. Go out there and support them. I love this. I'm excited. We've got a crowd gathered around here. Uh, do you know how many pull-ups you've done in your life already? I'm not I'm sure. So you're ready for this. I'm going to step aside. We've got a 100-pound pack here. You guys this day, give him your energy. Yeah. Let's go. Secures this 100 pound backpack. Again, the Guinness World Record is 16. He needs to hit 17 to break the record in one minute. On my count, in three, two, one, go. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh shoot! No. Oh, oh. Got it. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Come on, you can Come on, do you it. You got it. You can do it, man. Come on. Yeah, you got two to go. Let's go! Let's go! Dang, he did about 14 more than I could. Oh. Oh, it's all right. Good effort. Good job. Good effort. Good job, my friend. What's the world record for the most times trying to do one and failing? Because I think I could do that. Yeah, no. All right, halftime. It's 17 13 Titans. Decent first half. Happy my Derrick Henry. Six yards in the first quarter. Prop cashed. Hopefully, a few more of my bets cashed in the second half. Got to keep an eye on that. Defense needs to tighten up in the second half. Literally, tighten up. We say that all the time. That's really what we got to get done here. Offense has been rolling, man. We got to keep it in rhythm. It's going to come down to which coach and staff can make the adjustments to get their team rolling better in the second half. About to kick off. Let's do it. Fourth and goal from the one. Let's get a stop, baby. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Big Jeff. That's what we need right there. Let's go, let's go. Oh, baby. Stop, stop, stop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Yes.
All right, so the Colts just took the first lead of the game. Do we live bet the Titans or do we ride with what we got? Live bet the Titans. The man said it, we got to do it. Just not good enough tonight. You can't make the mistakes we made in this game and expect to win these tough divisional matchups like that. We have to put this one behind us, learn from it, correct the mistakes. Come back stronger because the next two weeks don't get any easier. Ravens next week and then the Colts again. All right, so I don't think I've said this yet on this video, but uh, that game sucked. I'm about to head home. I'm going to listen to the post game, see if the coaches have any explanation for that debacle, and then I'll kind of wrap things up when I get home once I've heard what they have to say about the game. Uh, I don't have any good thoughts about it. I mean, this little glow necklace is probably the coolest thing about the game, I guess. These things went like gold. Like, people were snatching these things up like they were going to resell them for like thousands of dollars. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it beyond the game tonight, but I did manage to get one extra one. I'm actually going to try to send this out to a guy named Titan Anderson. He's probably the top Titans guy on YouTube. You know, he does live streams of every game. He does updates throughout the week. So if you're somebody that's interested in more Titans content, he's got the best stuff probably on YouTube going. He's out based on the West Coast, so he doesn't get to go to the games like we were fortunate enough to go to today for the most part. But so we'll send this to him as kind of a, you know, sorry you didn't get to go. Maybe you're better off not having gone to this game, but you get a little treat from the stadium anyway. I'll link his stuff down below. So, you know, if you're a Titans fan, you might already be following him. You probably should already be following him. But if you're not, definitely want to check him out. Okay, so that was super not fun. Back home from that. This is the first time I've had to wrap up a Titans vlog after a loss. I don't like it. I'm going to go through my book here. See what happened with my bets. Nothing good, I'm sure. I'm actually going to save my venting for a live stream. I'm going to do a live stream once I fin finish this wrap up of the video, which leads me into subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so that anytime I post a vlog or do a live stream where I vent about how badly the Titans played, you get notified and you can check it out. Touche. Not a great day. Not a great day at all. Especially, like I said, if the highlight is getting these, it's not a great day. We move on, though. Got 10 days off to rest and recuperate before a very tough game against the Ravens. Then we get to play the Colts again, so time to get things fixed and get back right. So oh, give this video a thumbs up. It'll make me feel better about myself after a rough night. I appreciate your support there. Leave comments down below. What would you do if you were the Titans? How can we fix this? I will send any comments on to Coach Mike Frabel. He needs all the help he can get right now, I think. <sighs> you know what? This is... Sports are frustrating. Tighten up. We'll be back. More videos. More Titans. More... More whatever. Here's some stuff I got coming up, though. I got some plans because gambling has started to kind of go off a cliff a little bit. I'm going to turn it around. I know people using animals for gambling is a big deal. There's like 50 animals in this house, so definitely you're going to want to check out the channel because I got some great ideas to get these animals involved in my gambling. I've been told a million times that Sissy, who lives in this house, is a great gambler. Never really worked with her on it. Tune in. There is eventually going to be a mat. Uncle Mad and Sissy Gambling Show on this channel. Stay tuned for that. Once again, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that you get all the crazy whatever I'm throwing up against the wall to make things work videos when it comes to sports betting. A lot of good holiday stuff coming up right around the corner, though. Got some good ideas from holiday stuff coming, too, so you'll want to see that. That's all. That's all for the vlog, because now I'm going to go live and vent. I'll see myself out.